And now we're joined by uh, State Representative Eric Bedingfield, great friend of uh, the Columbia Conservative, and uh, he is also here to uh, give us his uh, reaction to uh, the end of the convention. Representative Eric Bedingfield, what did you uh, think about tonight's speech and the convention as a whole? Josh, I don't want to jump straight to tonight. I want to back up a little bit about tomorrow, if that's okay. Um, Sarah Palin, what an incredible pick uh, by John McCain. Um, Recentered the head of the ticket back into the conservative wing of this party. Brought a strong pro-lifer, strong on gun rights. I mean, when a young lady who's 44 years old, governor of Alaska, comes out and starts talking to us about moose hunting, how exciting can that be to your typical South Carolina boy who loves to hunt? Um, so I, I was ec ecstatic to see it. Um, you know. People love to talk about her speech last night, Josh, and I hate to be long-winded, but I gotta say, when Sarah Palin said, I will be an advocate for special needs children in South Carolina, it ripped my heart out of my chest and then stuck it back with a big cushion around it. Uh, my aunt you know, has adopted four special needs children, I'm sorry, three special needs children, and um, I, I, our, my entire family is just engrossed in those children, along with my own four children. But I, I see it every day. We, we have got to do more for the lesser in our society, and they are certainly representative of a certain segment of that. Now, jumping to tonight, um, I, I, I really was afraid tonight would be a complete letdown because Sarah Palin knocked it out of the park last night. But the truth of the matter is this. John McCain, like Mr. Hall before I said, uh, before I said he started slow, he got in his groove, and, and then we began to hear from the man himself, out of his own mouth and from his own heart, how life brought him to this place. And I thought it was very befitting when I, when I heard towards the, the closing of his statements. Uh, they began to talk about the book of Esther in the Bible and how for such a time as this that John McCain has been placed in this situation. I honestly believe it. It's, uh, it's very dynamic. I worked for Fred Thompson for eight months to get him elected. I know it. Um, you were with me the whole <laughs> way. Um, it, it was a, a wonderful time. I'm here to tell you today that I believe that the Lord has sent us John McCain. This is where we are. He's brought Sarah Palin uh, to this ticket. We got two wonderful people. It's a historic moment. I can't wait to keep working for John McCain. Thank you very much, Eric. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm